Over the last few weeks, we've been talking about cells. Sometimes there are more solutes outside a cell than inside a cell. When there's more solutes outside of a cell than inside of a cell, usually the solutes want to go inside of the cell. This is known as a hypotonic solution. You should have learned this last week as just a reminder. However, sometimes there are more inside than outside, and in that case, it's called hypertonic because things want to get out of the cell. And then there is the one where there is the same amount of solutes inside and outside, and that is known as isotonic. The one thing that we haven't talked about that much yet is con-sen-tray-shun. It's pronounced concentration. If you mix water with some pineapple juice concentrate, you can make pineapple juice. Whereas if you mix mango juice with water, you can make mango juice. Depending on how much you put in, the stronger it will be. For instance, if you want to fill up this cooler, you may need more than one concentrate of pink lemonade. You might need two or maybe even three, four, maybe even five. However, if you put three whole pink lemonade concentrates in just one glass of water, your pink lemonade would be very, 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 very sugary. And you probably wouldn't want that. Putting three things of pink lemonade inside just one glass of water would make something have a very high concentration. That means that all of the solutes would be very close together and they would probably be getting uncomfortable. However, if they're more spread out, that means they're at a low concentration. For instance, if you only used half a thing of concentrate for a whole Gatorade sized cooler, you would probably have a pretty low concentration of solutes in there. And as this diagram shows, things like to move from high concentration to low concentration. And it's called following the concentration gradient. It's pronounced gray d -ent. Concentration gradient. And it's just like diffusion, it travels from a place of high concentration to a place of low concentration. So what's it called when something goes from a low concentration to a high concentration? That is called going against the concentration gradient. When you go against the concentration gradient, you, are, you have to use active transport. Active transport requires energy, specifically it requires chemical energy. At another station, you will learn more about this type of transport, but for now, it's important that you know that in order to have active transport, you need to have chemical energy. And now you should go and answer those questions on Kia.com.